Tesla invented gigacasting. Toyota came along and they said, you know what, that's a good idea. We're going to use gigacasting in our vehicles as well. In fact, new Lexus vehicles will be using it very soon. Toyota will follow in around 2025. Tesla bring out the Cybertruck. It has steer by wire. It's something the automotive industry has been working on for years. Toyota says all of a sudden, oh, by the way, yes, our Lexus vehicles will have that too. It's coming very soon. However, there's one thing Tesla hasn't been doing. Elon Musk specifically said the best part is no part. Why would you want a man manual transmission in an EV? It's a gimmick. Toyota said, no, it's not. It's awesome. People will love it. Trust us. Lexus and Toyota bring out the manual transmission they've been working on on EVs. It turns out it's not actually real. It's a simulator. But this new manual transmission will have 14 gears. So if lots and lots of gears are your thing, then this is going to be perfect for you. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. As you can tell, I think a 14 speed transmission or gearbox or 14 gears is just insane. I can't understand how this makes any sense. But clearly, I'm not the target market. That said, guys, when I was a kid, I did own a Toyota Hot Hatch. It was the AE82. It was a lot of fun. I blew the engine five times, I think, before I replaced the engine and got a new one. And anyway, I spent a lot of money on that car and I loved it. And it was a manual transmission. It was a stick shift. Yeah, it was a really, really nice car to drive. Had a lot of reliability issues. I don't understand Toyota's claims for reliability, but it was a lot of fun and it was emotional, enjoyable. And after that, I just kept on buying stick shifts because I enjoyed that original car so much. But I do agree with Elon Musk. The best part is no part. Why would you add something that can break, especially when it's a gimmick? unless it's actually going to work. Now, I understand maybe if you wanted a manual, proper manual transmission, or maybe it was a PDK or a DSG, something like that for a performance electric car. But I don't understand the point when it's purely a simulation, purely like a toy. And you know, when you change gears and you forget to push the clutch down or you don't do it right, the car isn't going to stall because yeah, nothing's really happening. Anyway, Toyota is bringing their simulated manual transmission to life. It's really fun, say Toyota. The Japanese automaker's way to add fun and engagement to EVs is through simulated manual transmissions and noises. So, you know, they make lots of noises as well. Like, you know, you can hear noises of the transmission, noises of the engine, etc. And some people do like this kind of thing. Now, Toyota say its EVs won't have six or seven speeds, but... I'll have around 14. A recent patent application from the automaker published just a few days ago claims there's no limit to how many gears such a device may have. Images published alongside the technical documents show 14 speeds. 14. So how does it actually work? The patent goes into detail concerning the ins and outs of their manual transmission. And in fact, it really looks like a stick shift. It just looks like a purely manual transmission. The driver will be able to select exactly how many ratios they want, up to a maximum of 14. So apparently you can actually, you know, change it to two gears if you want, or three, or 14. Anyway, the number of virtual gear stages may be six stages or more, or less than six, says the document. It could be anything, basically. A driver is allowed to select a design pattern in line with his or her preference. So if someone says to you, hey, uh, you know, how many gears is your new manual EV got? You can say, oh, whatever I feel like on the day. That could be confusing, but that's what you can say. Anyway, the whole select a pattern part is kind of misleading because the automaker does not describe some kind of electromechanical system to effectively create as many physical stick shifts, shift gates as the user desires. So there's no actual shift gate. It's just a simulation. Instead, there will be a fixed number of actual gates, likely six, but Toyota uses four as an example. A gear is selected just like a regular manual. However, the lever may return to the neutral position after its use because it's not really doing anything. Then as the driver goes through the gears, the virtual pattern shifts to the next set of ratios. So if there's a pattern of six gears, says motor1.com, and sixth is selected, a display will change the available ratios 
inviting the driver to go up to seventh and all the gears after that, or down to fifth and the existing set of gears. So in other words, when you have 14 gears, there might be six on the pattern, but when you get to sixth, it now changes to six to 12. And then when you get to 12, and now changes to 12 to 14. So you might have three different patterns. Sounds very confusing to me. It sounds sort of like an old uh, truck, like a semi, where you've got to change gears 27 times and it's a real pain in the butt but you know it's meant to be fun so maybe it will be confusing well there's a reason why automakers have never gone for more than seven gears in a normal manual stick shift passenger car a 14 speed manual obviously isn't practical when made it to a gasoline burning combustion engine doesn't really make engineering sense but when your manual transmission is just being simulated though well, you can do whatever the hell you want. I mean, why stop at 14? Why not like 40 gears? You know, because fun, apparently. Anyway, Toyota seems to think there's no harm in having fun and shifting 14 gears. And um, maybe people who love Toyotas will feel the same way. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments.